Hey folks, DC7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2, or ETS2 as it's known, of course. And, uh, well, you're looking at this smiley faced butt over there, we go. 410 horse DAF XF. And that's because we have a job. And we have a job that is going to take us from, well, wherever this is in Russia to wherever this might be in Russia. And we're carrying about 20 tons of, well, whatever this is. And on that note, let's, uh, let's hop in the truck and uh, see what sort of terrors await us. It is currently 7.54 p.m., so we're not far from a dusky night. All right, we're up and running. Let's take a dash. We actually want... Uh, Okay, I think that'll do it. That does show our final distance. Is there a better? Not really. Eh? Hmm. Okay, can't say as I like the daft dash. Now, hmm, they don't really, uh, whoa, that was kind of nasty. Give us much of an indicator as to which way is going to actually let us out. So I'm going to do a little bit of a cheaty thing here and disconnect my trailer just go have a little look at what's around the corners ah okay that way shows as being an Audi and yep it does lead directly out there nice okay well then I'm gonna quickly cheat my way back to where we were Hope I picked the right trailer. There it is. Ooh, looks like we got a trailer full of foodstuffs of one form or another. Oh, come on. All right. Careful I don't bump this thing and scrape it all the way along the side of that other trailer. So this is a $40,000 plus job. Now, I'm already a level 8, I believe, and normally that would mean I'd have lots and lots of money, but of course we don't, because the levels are coming from distance. So I've only actually done a couple of jobs. And, as I told you guys a video or two ago, yeah, I couldn't exactly say that they were entirely, in their own right, successful. See here, I'm doing the farm sim mentality. I think those hedges have probably got collision and I'll get damage if I hit them. <laughs> but yeah, including um, having to actually abandon one job just because my truck could not move in the snow. Um, you know, and losing a huge pile of money there because I'd already spent so much money being sidetracked from one town to another to try and uh, get somewhere that would allow me to not have to deal with that particular hill. Nope. But anyway, we are uh, sitting on $57,000. We'll have almost 100 k And one nice big difference here with Euro Truck that makes life a little easier. We've already uncovered probably 10 different truck shops. Yeah, I see the stop sign. You know what? Me no care. So we will not have any sort of issues picking whatever kind of truck we want. I do have one modded Scania that I may just take as our first truck. It's the one that's got the little piggy nose on the front. It's kind of a neat looking thing. But yeah, I do have a mod of that. And uh, it's had some pretty glowing reports. It seems to work fine and flawless, so we'll give her a try. 98, I love that. You can just blaze through these apartment blocks full of women and children at 90 mile an hour, or kilometer an hour, sorry. Okay, maybe it's not quite as crazy. <laughs> All right, well, we don't have a full tank of fuel. Why they didn't give us one, considering how far we need to go. But we do have an 1,800 kilometer distance with what we've got currently. 
and we're only 35 hours out. Now this is the first Russian trip I've done that doesn't involve Antonovs or railway cars or ships. So we'll see how we do. This one is all driving all the way. So we do actually have to drive this entire 2100 kilometers. But that's what we're here for, right? Uh, is that actually on? Are those my lights? Are you that pathetic? Oh, yo. Don't you love being able to do 90 through the city, man? Oh, there we go. Now we got some lights. Alrighty. So, yeah, this is the town we're in. Tenixmneha. And, um... Can't say as I'm sorry to see us go. <laughs> Alrighty. Ah, uh, that'll probably do until we get out of town. We'll just cruise at a, you know, just over 50 mile an hour. For those of you that no speaky kilometer items. Okay, uh, are any of these telling me to suddenly slow down to 30k? Not yet, no. What do we got here? That is a traffic light, isn't it? Ah, uh, worse, that's a red traffic light. Hey, good timing, it's now green. <laughs> uh, if I'd have slowed down a little more gradually, we could have skated right through. Well, uh, now we're down to a 60k, oh, back up to a 90, beautiful. Well, so far this truck seems to pull reasonably well. As I say, it's a 410 horse. I would assume by the badging on it anyway, that's usually the horsepower reading on the badge. At least I've seen that for... Seems the, the thing for most of these European trucks. Hello, what you got? Ooh. Yeah, I had a load like that when I had to abandon that one mission. It was a 40-ton tank and uh, a straight uphill and deep snow before I had the snow fix. So it was nasty. Now, I don't know if this particular part of Russia is going to cover any snow. There we go. Let's set a cruise speed of 85 for now. And eat up a few of the miles. So this will just be, uh, you know, the usual 15 or so minutes. Uh, we will probably not finish the run today. Um, let's see if we can get her down to at least 2,000 miles. Or kilometers, anyway. And go from there. Uh, American Truck Simulator, we are about to buy our second truck and actually become a company as opposed to just a, well, a single entity with a company name. That's going to be kind of cool the start of our empire. Unfortunately, it's really unfortunate that without uh, pretty much giving up everything we've earned to this point, I can't upgrade to the new version of the Coast to Coast. It just, uh, I'm afraid, does not allow the saves to be used. So, now I know there's a money cheat, so I could get our money back, but, you know, and then buy a truck, blah, 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 and start there. But what I cannot do is get the experience back. So, if you guys have any thoughts on that, let me know. I.e., if you know there of a mod that will allow you to get experience levels or something. Because we were doing pretty good on that end. I think I had four levels of long haul, and I had all of the uh, dangerous, the hazardous goods, as it were. So, yeah. As I said, I know there's uh, a money mod in the workshop, so I could get our money back, buy a truck, etc. But, uh, yeah. And it's too bad, because the new coast-to-coast -coast map includes two, basically, routes that take you east, as opposed to just the one highway. Which, I've already gone to the end, and well, not to the end, but I've gone as far as, uh, whatever it was, Pittsburgh, and then I accepted a job there and drove back. And we're down to 60k, and it's raining, so let's slow down here. Three, two, one. Good enough. 
61 is close enough to 60 even for the fine fellas here yeah that's a rest stop <laughs> in it up beauty oh i don't have fatigue turned on uh oh i will do that for next episode guys i mean i do it now but we've only got about another two or three minutes that we're going to be uh tripping along here come on i want to go back up at 90 because yeah we're only 87k and then i'm going to call it an episode at 2000 You'd put us at about uh, 33 hours of trippage left. Yeah, the gas stops and the uh, rest stops can be a little uh, odd on this particular mod. Um, a lot of the gas stops are actually uh, a tanker truck parked at the side of the road, and you just sort of hope you don't lay it over as you pull into the ditch and up to beside them. And yeah, fuel up. It's like, wow little bit crazy man but the sun is setting on this fine Russian evening and I think it is also pretty much time for us to call this an episode it is hitting the 15 minute mark I know it's not a terribly long episode but we will continue on exactly where we left off the next time. So I hope you enjoyed, guys. If you did, please hit the old thumbs up button. Helps the channel out. Any suggestions, thoughts, any of that on either this series or the American Truck one as to how we can move that along, hopefully to the upgraded Coast to Coast mod. But uh, beyond that, well, this has been Species 7 with Euro Truck Simulator, all the DLC and the Russian Open Spaces mod. Take care of each other, folks. Let's just quickly have a look at our world map before I say bye-bye. See where we are and where we're going. Ooh, there's where we are. All right, we started here, as I said, in Zenig... Well, I don't know. And we are going all the way through here and all the way up to the, 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 the there B410 that's where we're going up to B410 <laughs> it's kind of like Tim Horton never mind but uh, that's it guys till next time this has been Species 7 take care and ciao for now